Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another episode of Phrases and Sayings. Today we're going to be talking about the phrase forgive and forget. Now the reason I wanted to go into this phrase is just because out of personal experience and noticing how other people have gone through this kind of aspect, I want to address not particularly only my opinion on the phrase, but how flawed I feel like the phrase actually is. It has a good premise to it. Don't get me wrong. The idea behind it being that, look, it's in the past. Let's just move on. Let's keep what's in the past in the past and move to the future. It basically presents that. Unfortunately, nowadays, there are so many people out there who have either certain medical circumstances that make it impossible to just let go of things, or there are people out there who cling on to those kind of things, whether for good reason or bad, really, it doesn't matter, they still do. That phrase, forgive and forget, almost means nothing. Like, if it was forgive and just move on, then sure, that would make sense. But it's the fact that the word forget specifically is there. And I think that particular thing makes that phrase a little bit flawed for nowadays. Now, for a lot, not everyone is the case. I've just noticed that a lot of the time, forgiving, forgiving another person for, the, for generality, for a lot of people, is pretty easy. But to just forget? Well, I mean, if you forgot... I feel like the only way that really is doable, depending on how, on how impactful it is, it can move. It can vary from doing a lot to doing almost nothing. Like I don't know. Let's say let's take two polar opposite hypothetical scenarios. Um, someone told, tells a little bit little white lie, but it turns out it's just to protect someone. Forgive and forget. You know what? You're right, it wasn't that bad. It's still a lie, and I hope you're willing to be more upfront next time, but it's fine. That would be easy to forget because of the fact that it's so minor that you, you, you do the opposing once, and you've pretty much covered it up. However, there are some extremely big um, actions that can be made that make it very, 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 very hard to just forget it. Usually these actions are against a belief or a law. For example, say someone close to you decides to steal from you. Something very... They decide to steal something very, very, very priceless. Something very important to you eventually they can make up for it and you'd be willing to forgive them. But could you really forget something like that? Could you really just bypass it and go, eh, it never happened, when it's something so important? I mean, no. The human mind doesn't work like that. I mean, maybe there are some people out there who can do this, but for the most part, it's just not a feasible thing to ask. Now... Bear in mind, this is why that term is used very loosely, and not in a sense where they literally, the person who says it literally wants you to forget the event that happens. I, you need to keep in mind, even though I'm saying I feel like it's flawed, the phrase is meant to say, look, just move on. But even then, there are still some events that make it stupidly hard to even do that. Depending on who you are, the thief one might work, or maybe it's more deadly or malicious. It really depends on the circumstance. But I guarantee, in the day and age we live now, live in now, there are so many people out there who can't just forget. It would be asking a lot of these individuals just to do that. In fact, I know someone who is struggling with that aspect right now. For confidentiality's sake, I'm not going to say who it is. Especially since I don't have the right. 
This is another one of those kind of medical things where just it, it, it's an example, but I can't name names. I can't list the exact details of what's going on. I know them. But because of circumstance, I am not allowed to say. So, with that being said, this particular individual, at this current moment as of the recording, it's been a few days since... Probably a little bit more than that. It's been a short amount of time in their mind, but it, depending on how slow the days go, it could be a long amount of time for others. That being said, um, this particular individual had a drastic event help happen to them. Something that impacted them in a way where you can't just expect it to bypass their mind within a day. And this is someone I'm really close to, so I'm going to respect the fact that the fact that I'm talking about this at all, I'm going to respect the details and just not bring it up. But just take my word for it when I say this person is struggling to just simply bypass it, to simply forget. And because of this, because of this factor, the forgiving aspect, sure, it's there. Not that hard. But, with this particular individual, whoever else is involved, reminders probably would be sent frequently. How frequently? Well, that part depends on the person. In this case, I, once again, can't say. Um, but, the only reason I know of any of this is just because of how close to the person I actually am. And in the long run, it's very difficult. It's going to be very difficult for this person to just let go. And knowing the details, I can understand why. What had happened to this individual was very drastic. Very, very much so. And even with me trying to analyze the situation and go, okay, well, these are ways to approach it, I don't do that. I don't do that because the forget aspect of forgive and forget is one of those processes that takes, that could take a very, very, very long time to do. And depending on the person, who knows? It could take years or maybe just weeks, maybe days, depending on the person. But it's something you can't just intervene with. It's one of those things where you have to leave them be on the topic until they fully recouped on the matter. But until then, I mean, there's not much that can be done unless you can do some, unless you yourself are involved with this kind of thing and you take action, at least whatever action you can, to help ease the mindset. But otherwise, the forget aspect really is a, it's a process of patience. That's really it. And some people are not very good with patience. Some people are. But this kind of proves what I'm trying to say. In the long haul, for the forgive aspect is way easier than the forget aspect. Now, if both were like simultaneously as hard, simultaneously as easy, then sure, I'd understand that the phrase is there. But the fact of the matter is, for the most part, Un this is from experiences that I've seen done or I've gone through personally forgiving is easy but forgetting <sighs> now that, 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 that takes a lot more time and a lot more perseverance or patience depending on what part of the circumstance you're approaching if you're the one who needs to forgive and forget and you're forgiving the other person for their actions, it's hard to just press through all of it, allowing them to do things. However, if you're the one who made the mistake and you acknowledge it, it can be difficult to forgive yourself, but it's way more difficult to just forget that action that you made. Because that action, depending on what kind of person you are, could really impact the rest of your life. 
the reason I say, depending on the person you are, it depends on your attitude towards the action and whether you believe the action was right or wrong. If you believe it was wrong, then the forgive and forget aspect doesn't really, the phrase doesn't apply to you at all. But if you think you are in the wrong or you know you were in the wrong and you want to fix it, that forget aspect is going to be very, very, very tough to overcome, at least compared to the forgive aspect. Now, this is not applied to everyone. However, for the most part from what I've seen, it is applied to most. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. With everything I've said, this is why I feel like the phrase forgive and forget is flawed. You shouldn't make up a phrase if it isn't always, like, definitive on knowing what it's talking about. Forgive and forget is a phrase that applies to the idea of, look, it's in the past, let's move on, let's forget about it. Let's pretend it didn't happen. No. No, that's not that easy. That's why I feel like this phrase is flawed. Because no matter who you talk to, it's not just as simple as one, two, three. And it's unfortunate because there are some circumstances out there where people wish they could. You hear this all over the place. But what can you do? Not much that can be done, right? Aside from pushing forward. Or rectifying fixing what had been broken. This is a phrase I use a lot, by the way. But with that being said, I'm actually going to leave this here. Um, thanks for tuning into this episode of Phrases and Sayings. If you guys liked it, or if you agree with anything that was said, make sure to give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel if you haven't yet. We are very close to 10k, and whew, it's going to be a, joy, a doozy of a ride once we get beyond that. But regardless... Looking forward to seeing what happens next. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, share out the video to see if, if to anybody else who may enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, and yeah, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you all later. Bye.